we're given the following reaction, and it tells us that it is at a specific temperature with an initial concentration. Now remember, initial is going to tell us something important. So I've got the initial concentration here, and then it says at equilibrium the concentration, so I've got an equilibrium concentration of H2, and I need to find the equilibrium constant. So we notice it's got the words initial and equilibrium, so that tells me that right off the bat I'm going to have to use what? I'm going to have to use the Rice method. So I need to first write down the reaction. So I'm going to rewrite the reaction first. So I've got 2 CH4 gas, and that's going to go 2 C2H2 gas plus 3H2 gas. Now, what were the initial concentrations? Well, the only initial I'm given is the CH4, so that's going to be 0 0.087. I'm not given anything else, so there's no products made when we started. And then I need to look at the change. Well, what was the change? Do I know? Well, I'm not sure, right? But I know what it was at equilibrium. It says that the H2 was 0 0.012. So now in order to get 0 plus something to be 0 0.012, I have to add that number to it. So far, so good. Now what about for the C2H2? Well, there, if this is 0 0.012, I have 3 moles of it. So if I divide by 3, it's going to tell me how much each mole changed. And so each mole changed by 0 0.004. So that's plus. So I'm going to go ahead and add that down here. So what happens over here? Same thing. I know that when I divide it by 3, I know that 1 mole is a 0.004 change. There's 2 moles on the left, so that's going to be 0 0.008. Now remember, if I add on the right, I have to subtract on the other side. So I'm going to subtract those two, and I'm going to get 0 0.079. Let me rewrite that. That looks a little funky. 7, 9. So what am I going to do? I've got my equilibrium, so now I just need to find Kc. So why don't you pause the video, come back and check if you get the correct setup for Kc. So hopefully this is what you've got. Remember your products go on the top, your reactants go on the bottom. If it's a coefficient, it becomes a superscript. So now what you need to do is you need to plug in what we found for E. So why don't you do that and get your answer and then come back and check it. So here I've just plugged in what we found for E, for equilibrium, into the equation that we found. Now, at the last one, we need to do significant figures again. If I look back at the original, I have 2 and 2. So I'm going to go to the second number, look to the right. It's five, less than 5, so I'm going to get 1.1 times 10 to the minus 6.